All right, welcome back, everyone. We are on episode 17 of John and Eric's epic adventures into the sky. So, managed to purchase our horse in the last episode, Helena here, and we are going to be heading inside to Solitude. Presented with a cut, basically a cutscene right at the beginning. So, we do look like twins now. We have very similar armor. It's going to be even similar when we uh, when we grab our new Nordic gear that we're going to make. And what we'll do is, as this cutscene is going on, I'll explain a discovery that I made. Wow, this is a long cutscene. There we go. Alright, so we get to watch an execution. So, what I discovered is that apparently, Nordic gear isn't created with ebony. Yeah, yeah, okay. Murder him. You helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Boo! Boo! And blend in with the humans. Or I guess with the Nords in this case. I go to Sovereign Guard. Whoa. Hey then. I was just... <laughs> so, so you threw a bunch of smiling cats up, huh? Well, that was dramatic. A man opens a gate and they cut his head off? Doesn't seem right to me. Don't be opening gates around here. We take that? No. So, let me show you, because I, I was doing a little bit of testing earlier, and what I discovered was that when I went to the actual creation of Galatite ingots here on the forge, it turns out that... Here, I don't know if I'll... Uh, be able to enter the correct crafting thing here. Um, no, not while he's using it. So it turns out Galatite is made not out of ebony and quicksilver, but steel and quicksilver. And let me show you that recipe right here. We're gonna have to interrupt him. Just politely interrupt him here. So uh, yeah, here it is. Four steel fragments, and then, or 14, excuse me, and then six quicksilver. So I don't know if this is a bug, despite it very specifically listing that it is an alloy of Quicksilver and Ebony. So I was buying all of these Ebony ingots and giving right. them to Eric, what do you need? thinking, oh, we're going to have to make an alloy out of them. And it turns out we don't need them. Okay, that's fine, right? Ah, <sighs> so let's get going. Then. That's not, you know, a complete disaster. It's uh, oh, okay, fair enough. What we'll do while we're up here, uh, let's let's just take a quick look at our buffs. I'm pretty sure our our stews ran out, right? Yeah, we only have the blessing of Arkay, which is fine. Traitor, right up to the edge. Oh, okay, so it looks like looks like everybody's kind of on cooldown here. I won't really be able to trade anyone but you. Need something? What do you have for sale? I don't remember Take what this guy sells. So, ooh. Oh, you know, we really need... So here's the problem. Is we need bear pelts in order to craft uh, the chest, the boots, and the gloves. But we don't actually need a bear pelt for the helmet, which is pretty helpful. Uh, do you have any? He has four normal bear pelts, but they have a weight of eight each, and that's kind of a lot. Like, and he also has a cave bear. Probably go for the uh, black ones here. Ah. So we have a few options. We can, I mean, if we were to 
buy these, we could craft these pieces like while we're here. All right then. Right? We could literally craft the armor here and it would weigh less because the pelts would be used up and... Need something? Those. I think Take that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna buy these pelts, the cave bear pelts, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. give them to Eric here. First and I before we leave one. town, Problem? How can I help? we are going to craft a few pieces of... Oh, okay. Um, well, what do you have that we can sell? Oh. Lots of ingredients. And uh, he has the snow bear pelt, right? It. Give him nope. Is he still over encumbered? We're gonna have to find a place to sell all of this clothing. That was the problem with not having. Um, I think we're just gonna. Dead. We don't have the time for this. Spare some. Oh, Go. thank you. Divines bless your kind. Always you good traitor? Thane, take a look. Got anything cool? Wow. L3 gen, 100% faster. Um, really nice, just like, stuff here. Lots of gems. Do we have any gems to sell? Good. We'll sell that and then amethyst right it doesn't look like we can sell them for that much more so it's been an honor this should be cool. Get 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 whoa <laughs> holy crap I cannot you out of the way where they go I lost them. Where'd they go? Okay, I heard someone die, but I don't see a dead body anywhere. Take steel arrow. Anyone see the body? What the hell happened? Oh, there they are. Okay, it must have been a vampire. Dang. Okay. Uh, and we're over. Just feels right, some. How do we get over encumbered? Here, we'll just give up uh, another one. Let me know if there's anything else. Where's the job board? Quick, find the job board. I bet there was a quest for uh, slaying a vampire. I actually have no idea where the job board is in in this town. Like, no idea where it's placed. Oh, there it is. Uh, hunt vampire. Should be it, right? Yeah, there it is. Nice. Excellent. Why are you sneaking around here? Another quiet day. Hey. Acting all suspicious. Dang. Yeah, another quiet day. Okay, if you say so. Dang, man. Vampire gets murdered in the street. Come in and shut the door. Who are you? Why, hello, here to buy. If you have to ask the price, you might be in the wrong store. Uh. Yeah, do you always insult people when you walk into the door? Just an observation. If I were walking around with a wound, I would want you to tell me to see a doctor. Your outfit is something of an open wound, where a tire is concerned. Okay, well, what's wrong with my Nothing outfit? At all. It's very nice. If you want something with a little more style, however, you should see what we have available. Okay. Uh, so what should I wear to the Blue we Palace? We're going to the Blue Palace. That presents an opportunity. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Uh, sure. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, be a model. mention it's from Radiant Raymond. Thank you for your patronage. 
Uh, come on, Eric. First, I thought I'd make me the stuff. Of course. If I swear, if I can't sell these cloaks, I am going to be flabbergasted. Hello. Oh, what delight! Another charming customer. Oh, <laughs> what do you have for sale? Breeches, gowns, clothes for any occasion, really. Wow. Okay, she does have a lot of stuff. Uh, first, we're gonna start by selling, right? Got a few miscellaneous things here. Good, she can buy them. A full price for them, too. Nice. Burr, burr, burr. Sell these amulets of Mara, too. You know, we could keep one of these and get married. We will. Uh, Fenrir. Fenrir, welcome. Yeah, we'll keep an amulet of Mara. We might be able to use it. Sell this random dot here. What else does she have? We could get, like, another one of these. I've always been a big fan of the Amulet of Debella. Extreme Illusion. Half decent robes. Other jewelry. Just wow, lots of stuff here. Dunmer tunics, right? She has so much. There's so many like varieties of the things that she's selling. Alteration, restoration. Some of the other random stuff that I sold to her. Finally. Okay, good good luck in your business venture. Alright, here we're gonna we're gonna have to just kinda cause I don't think this person will vanish. So we're gonna we're gonna clean them up ourselves. All right, we'll help the guards a little bit. Uh next up we'll go into bits and pieces. We're just gonna sell everything else we have. Welcome to bits and pieces. I'm sure you'll find what you need here. Uh, Eric, give me all the other stuff, please. New armor fits me. I'll be sure to put it to good use. That staff, right? Staff of inspiration. Yeah, I'll take this. We'll we'll hone the other bow. It'll be great. Let's get going then. Beer and trinkets, odds and ends. Um, do you have anything to buy? Not really. Julianos. Mm. Anything here? Not really. No special meat. Yeah, healing or on target. That's all fine. Another cave bear pelt. We'll take it. <laughs> oh, and then more snow bear. Oh. I I think we're gonna buy them. I think we're gonna buy these snow bear pelts because then we can have like separate sets, right? One of them can be white, the other can be black. Or no, we already have the chest pieces, so we just need the helmets and boots. And I think we have four cave bear ones, so I think we'll do all black sets. I think that'll be good. So I'll keep that. Wait, I don't get a small bone there. Keep the rest of that. Anything we can get rid of here? Yeah, we have two of those. We don't need two. <laughs> Fishing map. Read all of those. Oh, vampire dust. Yeah. What else? What are some of these scrolls that I'm never going to use? I'm not going to use that. I don't think I'm going to end up using these. So I'm just going to sell them. I guess I probably should have given them to Eric. But oh well. Mark and Recall. I'll hold on to one of these. These can be pretty valuable. Uh, moving across the map. A really far place. Burn Lesser Undead. Definitely. The Frost Runes will be valuable. Yeah, those are all important. They're all good. We don't need the Crude Magical. That's all fine. Sell that. Hmm. Oh, and then that. Okay. Come back to bits and. Huh. You know you've got a certain fire in your eyes, just like my Berend. Please feel free to look around. Uh, who is Berend? Berend's my husband. This is a quest, he I think. He works the forge up at Castle Dower. I barely see him nowadays, what with him filling orders for the army. Or, uh, no, okay. Make sure to recommend us to your associates. Oh, maybe she said that because I'm a uh, blacksmith. I think it's, so it's the, oh, it's Rogbeer. That's what it is. The, uh, 
A wife of Rogbeer. Rob yep. People to see in places to go, huh? Later then. <laughs> That's the easiest way to summarize you it. Have a few minutes to run down to the docks, would you? Uh, what do you need from the docks? Well, I've got a shipment of spices the East Empire Company is holding up. I need someone to convince them to release it. Yeah. Great. Get back to me when you're done, and I'll give you something for your time. Sure. Um. Good luck out there. Now yeah, we'll run down there. Right. This. I don't know, but it's an empty stall, so we're gonna take that. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. Dang. Wow. Books. Baked goods. Hmm. Meat. Take a look. Uh, yeah. Hog meat. Mammoth stuff. Eh. All right then. Fish, veggies. Okay. Running around. Any any quests we can take here? Um, a letter to Dragon's Bridge. We're gonna pass back through Dragon's Bridge. Might as well take that. And a wep weapons to the Solitude Sawmill. I don't really know where that is. Hmm. What's that? Oh. I'm gonna take some of the dragon's tongue. Is that to everyone? Oh, okay. One other thing I'd like to do is join the Bard's College while we're here. I've seen some bards wandering around. The Bard's College here in Solitude. You should think about applying. Dang right. The cool statues they have, right? Go for it. Awesome, AJ. Welcome. We're about to join the Bard's College. Or we're gonna try. Welcome to the Bard's College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? Uh, I'm looking to apply. Always a pleasure to meet a prospective Bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring Bard. All right, what do you need? Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. Lost, you say? Yes. According to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. I should be able to do that. Um... Take a look. There's some other questions here. God, he has a lot of books. Part of me wants to just buy all of them and then we can stock up our bookshelves with a collection of books, but that would probably end up costing, what, an average of 30 gold per book, probably about 50 of them here. So that'd be probably around a thousand gold. We could afford it. We really could afford it. Just pay a thousand gold for a bunch of books. It looks like they're all unique too. Then we'd have to carry them back, so. I wish you luck in finding the verse. We'll get around to that, maybe. I wonder if there's anything you can kind of extract out of here. Sometimes they have things you can read and learn from, but... I mean, if we were a thief, this place would be great, but... Ain't no stinking thief. It's fancy, though. What we'll do is we'll head to the palace. We'll, uh, we'll see what's up. Right, take on a few quests. He will here, let's uh switch out to our Radiant Raymond. Oh. Very beautiful. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Just by putting it on and running, we, we went up an evasion level. That's pretty funny. <laughs> It's, I, I leveled up because I am fashion. Yes. Oh, okay, here, we can't steal your hanging moss, apparently. 
Oh, we have to wait our turn. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my rule. Your Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragonbridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. <laughs> that was about as dismissive as you could get. Hello. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Um, you like my outfit? It's quite fetching, actually. The craftsmanship is excellent. Her dress looks fantastic, too. Oh, really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request for a few dresses quite soon. Nice. Uh, we're not going to take that on quite yet. For solitude and my husband. Do you have business with the court? Ooh, we could buy a house for 3,500 gold. Um, feel free to return. To if I needed questions. something from you, the you would know. Ooh, I could get training in destruction magic if I really wanted it. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Is there this. anything we can buy? Probably not, right? I mean, we actually, we are going to need some grand soldiers. Right, some filled grand soul gems. Made that mistake, so we'll start start collecting those now. Oh, did I say thirty five hundred or thirty five thousand? Always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. I am not interested in whatever you are peddling. Be gone. Ah! Fine, fine, I will be gone. And we're gonna keep running around in this robe because I think we'll uh, blend up leveling up our evasion a little bit more too, which is hilarious. So, oh, okay. Must be in the inn. Yeah. We could spend the night in the inn. I think we will, because I don't know where there's any flat grounds that we can set up our tent. I didn't see any. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. Uh, okay. Luckily, we know exactly where she is. Feel free to make requests. Oh, I'm here for the delivery job. Okay, so that's, you know, a different quest. You should think about staying the night. Corculus keeps a clean in. I think she was flirting with me. So we will stay the night. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Oh, I'd like to rent a room. It's yours for a day. Hello. Um. <laughs> I think we're all set. I'll show you to your room. At this light. Hello, ladies. Is there anything a big, strong man can do for you this fine day? Oh, good lord. I don't know. If you see any big, strong men around, let us know. Oh! <laughs> Sick burn. Every one of them. Oh, come now. Don't go away mad. All right, Khan, show us our room. Where is it? A lot of nice potions here. Wow, a lot of real... It's a Really nice potions here. Wow, we got like the master suite. This is pretty good. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Silver stuff? Okay. I don't know. Hoopla! Excuse me. Oh yeah, look, the executioner's here. Check out supplies need something? Alright. It's the root that looks like it. <laughs> Alright, we need to we'll finish this other quest. We'll uh go to sleep. Where is it? Robber's Gorge. Whoop! Ah. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, we're gonna search this person because I don't think I'll be able to find their, uh, oops, took their bow too. That's fine. Um, you don't need the rest of it. Oh! Ah! 
we're gonna quickly loot what this person has too, just because I have a tendency to uh to lose people. Soul gem fragment, nah. Fast healing, Ooh, we'll take that. All of these. Any leaders in here? Nope, nope, nope! Whoa! That could have ended really badly. Oh. And I'm glad we took them out, but... Oh, uh, scaled? Nice. Oh, I think we should help Eric. Eric. You Eric? Yeah. Oh. We get them all? I think that was it. Okay, piece of cake, right? Wasn't too tough. I think we took them all out. Oh. oh, yeah, Eric took this one out. Nice. Take a light snack with us. Anybody else? No, I think that was it. Right, is is it clear? Does it show as clear? Yeah. It's cake. This person. Yeah. The leather stuff isn't too vital to our success anymore. I mean, having leather is important, but I'm not gonna tear my hair out over it, right? Some healing poultices, Frogar's wooden heavy bow. I don't know who Frogar is, but we're gonna take his bow, I guess. No! Ah! All right, all right. Staff of turning. I didn't even see it. Um. You ready? Y'all ready, chat? A new hand, A new hand touches the beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreek. I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. It just feels right somehow. Having this sure Adric thing. Quest. Oh boy, oh boy. Cave bear pelt. What else have we picked up here? A lot of pelts. Or, or uh, cloaks, I should say. Staffs, right? Can we give this. Oh, I, I guess we can. Okay, that's interesting. All right, try not to break that. <laughs> Probably should have sold that. It's kind of heavy, but here we'll. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want the XP. We're trying to get up to. <clears throat> excuse me, level forty-five. Level forty-five is when we can do expert law, and that will be a big. Oh. Big game changer. So what do we got down here? Oh right, isn't there like a... Uh, did I get a level up out of that? I think I might have. Mushrooms. Tasty mushrooms. First. Little coin always greases the wheels. Way to help, Eric. Hero, I think... We don't we do we have like a hunting brew mead on us? Don't. Oh, okay, or we can get a Nord mead. That's fine too, right? A Nord mead. <laughs> like, okay. okay. I guess uh, John doesn't isn't very good at knowing the difference between the uh, different meads, huh? So they stored all of their, uh, basically, ah. So somebody's planning on making a run for it. Um, have a good haul with this week. 
Yeah, basically he keeps a stash, uh, uh, took the boat out tonight and stowed it on the island to the south by an old stump. So we'll we'll head over to that, see what we can find. Uh, I think we'll have to end up finding some mud crabs, is what we'll have to do if we go over to that island. Which can be kind of a pain in the butt. So we will take our horse there. Uh, fly over the rocks. I um, just noticed that I do not have my own healing aura. As well as a healing bolt. Put those back on. And that ring, right? Probably isn't. Yep. For some reason, it won't switch over to the weapons. Kind of annoying. Oh, I could have just called my horse. Didn't think of that. But... It's okay. We're not to run over Eric here, like we did those those other people. Uh, that should be. Where, where's the island? Right over there. We're gonna keep our weapon ready. Oh! Okay. Dead slaughterfish. Interesting. Hmm. Yep, there it is. Oh! Damn! We needed the key! Respite. Anything on the table? Alright, how much time do we have? 20 minutes? Sounds good to me. Silver greatsword? Eric doesn't have silver, but that's okay. In we go. Everything's lit. Who's that? Drug. Damn it, I hate those things. Didn't seem like an angry ghost. Ruby Dragon Claw. So we're going to have to be more careful. Definitely going to have to start being more careful, right? That, that was kind of like an obvious trap. Ooh, okay, we'll take it. We won't search through all of them, but that one was kind of lucky. Keep our, our weapons out, though. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's right. We're in Nordic ruins now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay. Need to pay more attention. Soul gems. Definitely need to pay way more attention. Right. Oh! All right, watch out, there's a spider. Oh, there's multiple spiders. <laughs> All 
surprisingly, he seems to be okay. Alright, we'll extract some venom. We're, uh, we're not gonna deal with the other stuff, though. Here, an iron warhammer. Anything back this way before we, uh. Yeah. Me? Slaughterfish are basically crocodiles. This is from earlier when we were outside. No, I mean, they're basically like big, long piranhas. Right. Big sapphire. Anything else? Keep a tip. I think we go this way, and I do want to be careful that, like, Eric is with us in the rooms, right? Oh, alright. Okay. Whoa! Okay. That could have totally just instantly killed me. Um, I'm so bad at this! Where was the pressure plate? Over here. Oh! All right, we're just running to the other side of this. Oh, they ran over the, the Draugr ran over the pressure plate. Ah! Well, all things considered. Yep. He's whoa, black soul gem. Used to trap. Human souls? Dang. Can we kill this guy? Well, I mean, obviously we did. Is this like... Are we going back the way we came? Or is this new? No, 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 we, we passed through. Someone there. Oh, good lord. Ah, <laughs> uh, naturally. I'm still so paranoid from, um, like, earlier levels that we can really get screwed up by spiders. But our, our rest, you know, our healing restoration is so powerful that we're, we're healing through it, which is pretty crazy. This is dark, man. Ruined books. Looking just to make sure we haven't forgotten anything. Could you imagine if this was completely dark too? Oh, bottomless pits. Oh, this, this is a dead end. Um, so which way is the next way? Am I miss? Oh. Have to just jump in? Is that what we're supposed to do? Tell me we're just supposed to jump down there, man. Hey, there we go. Figured there would probably be some stuff in here. All right, Eric. Here we go. No way out now. Eric will come, will jump down with me. Okay, good. Ah. How do we get up there? Oh, okay. What the hell, man? Oh, where was that coming from? I don't think there's any chests down here. So we'll head right up. Yep. Oh, so 
back up here. Nope, they're activated. All right. Okay. Sprint. No, it's a... Uh... Oh, good lord. Shift. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Ah! 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 Where's Eric? He should be back up. I think he got hit by the blades. He tried to cross and got hit. He'll be okay. He'll heal back up. We do have to be careful about progressing too quickly. We'll, we can retreat back when we uh, when we need to, right? Yeah, there he is. He's fine. Fine. For your health. Yeah, he's fine. Control skull. Are there any items we can just kind of? Oh, I don't have. I don't have the perks for that. that sealed door oh it's it's like very sealed okay hello <laughs> oh er eric try to be more careful bro Where I'm accidentally gonna hit Eric and kill him. See that over there? A flame thing. But I think it's only triggered if we step on that pressure plate. Is this expert? Yeah, I ain't gonna get through that. Let me see. Nice. Trap deactivated. Scroll of protection. Cool. Flying greatsword. Kind of weird. Indiana Jones up in this. All up in this. Yeah. I also want to point out that I would probably. No! Oh, Eric! Oh yeah? You ain't got nothing, I'm a Nord! Luckily they're all coming at me one at a time. Yeah, we're gonna take a potion. Um, we'll do decent. Ah! Oh, I missed! Lagging, I can feel it. Wanna try that again, huh? They have unlimited stamina, don't they? Oh, I just did like a backwards maneuver by accident. Like, I can't break through their stamina. There we go. Oh, that was a little bit more intense than I wanted it to be. Uh, let Eric through, is this it? Oh, fi figures. I could have let Eric in at any time. Whoa, what do you got there? Oh, nice. Warming up. Hey, a diamond. Nice. Diamond. 
Was there anything else in this direction? Or uh, was it really like a... behind this door, whatever it is. Hello. Oh, this is his body. This is where they, uh... Here, I'm, gonna I'm gonna take the gold from your pocket. So the story goes that he wrote a verse, or, or a poem, mocking the king, and he, uh... Oh, there we go. O oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealer demon, and deep dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid and false, our cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. And then it goes on. And and so some it looks like some of it's all rubbed out, right? Well, that's a slight problem. And it, basically he was in prison. He was killed in, in prison. Body was put at the bottom of a well, essentially. This was the boss room. I took it on myself, huh? What's the fastest way out of here? No, those are all dead ends, so we have to go back the way we came. Okay, it's not a big deal. Yes. Oh no, no, the the sealed door. Remember, magic sealed door. Maybe we aren't. No, we aren't out yet. Yeah, we are definitely not out of the woods yet. Um, no, Eric, don't go in there. That? Yeah, here it is. Okay, this is this is where it gets real. Um, both. Oh, okay. How long does my healing aura last? Um, healing poultice is that healing aura lasts for like two minutes. Here we go. A boss battle. Hey, Eric. You could come over here really quick. Stop. And then what we'll do is we're gonna let that regen a little bit because I am definitely gonna need a healing aura for myself as well. I don't know what this room will hold, but it should be pretty fun. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, uh, in the meantime, what's what's the claw here? We should be doing that. Um, let's see. Wolf, eagle, wolf. Wolf, eagle. Perfect, and then get my ring back on that I still haven't quick slotted. Silver's ready. All right, Eric, let's do this. Take a step back in case I'm wrong. I'll mention it every now and then. These doors are designed to keep things in, not keep things out. Here we go. How are our beef stews? Oh, okay, look, we got a quick save there. Nice. Uh, six. We only have six minutes left on our beef stews. It's time. No! Oh no, Eric! I sprinted too far ahead! Okay. Okay. Oh! No, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, maybe we're less fine. What's our XP at? Oh. <laughs> All right, this is definitely going to be um, a fight for the ages then. Oh, this is a big problem. Need to do as much damage as quickly as possible. Ah! 
Okay, good. I still hit him. Who's shouting? Oh. Here, we're gonna take a stamina pot too. This is about to get really intense. Eric can only watch. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. What is that? Great potion? Whoa! Whoa! Alright, what we got? What we got? Oh my god, okay, there's a few of them. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! How am I doing? All right, we are gonna need another great healing potion after that. Get back up, get back up. Where is he? Oh, oh my God, he has an ebony. Freaking, yes. I was trying to block. Oh man, get back up. Get back up. Get back up. Ah! And he's down. Oh, oh, we definitely need something here. Decent one, maybe? Ah! Oh, I'm out of stamina, too. A decent one. Completely out of stamina. Oh. Holy crap. got here. Another word that we recognize, but we don't know why. Or we're in sprint. Nice. Like a gold? Or... Well, that was a boatload of XP, huh? Take a uh, healing poultice, right? <laughs> Ebony Warhammer. Look at this thing, man. Worth 4,000 gold. E2. We are immediately over encumbered. Eric. Just feels right, sir. What do you want me to carry? Uh, <laughs> this. He's probably gonna equip it, right? Yeah. He doesn't want to use his shield. He takes one look at that thing and he's like, gimme. I'm just happy that all of these Draugr weren't like alive. Soul gem there. Wow. That was intense. We'll we'll make our way into the uh, the loot room, right? I do believe it is through here. Oh, there it is. Here it is. Anything back here? Yeah, we'll take a coin purse. Open this. Here we are. What do we get? Uh, let's see. Nice, some nice jewelry, looks like. Uh, increases damage dealt with two-handers by 15%. That's pretty good. Four amethysts. And some soul gems. Not bad. What do we have for our current ring that we wear? Uh, 40 stamina. So I'll have to decide, we're probably going to take the one of, uh, Pure Grip here. Does that tell us how much this does? So 214 versus... 
191, right? That's pretty good. How about our Skyforge Steel? 262 versus... 93, so it adds 30 to the damage that we do. That is phenomenal. I always try to make sure there aren't any gems on the ground. Cause now I know it's low. Oh! That... Oh, no, no, there was a... Uh, like another thing right there. So, there it is. We'll, we'll run outside. I cannot believe we survived that. We single-handedly took on this barrel. I can't remember. Uh, dead, dead Man's Rest. Single-handedly took on Dead Man's Rest. Our horse is still here, so we are going to call the episode right there. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night, everyone.